The IP Multimedia Subsystem, IMS, is a framework for delivering IP-based multimedia services across multiple platforms. The IMS was originally designed by the 3GPP as a part of the vision of evolving mobile networks behind GSM. Today, where more and more wireless and wireline networks evolved to be IP-only, the role of IMS has become crucial. Before going into the details of the IMS architecture, let's have a look at the big picture shown here. This picture can be interpreted as showing the subsystem used by an operator who operates multiple technologies such as 2G, 3G, and even Wi-Fi. It is easy to see the central role of the IMS as the connecting subsystem between LTE network and the 2G, 3G circuit core as well as the connection between the LTE network and external telephony networks. Where implemented, the IMS may also be used in managing packet data services to and from the LTE core network. As will be seen, the IMS was structured to be an open and universal architecture in order to support a variety of interfaces and cross-platform scenarios. The IMS enables operators to offer multimedia services across both next-generation IP-based networks and traditional circuit switch networks. It enables IP-based networks to support traditional circuit switch services as voice, for example. The IMS architecture provides pipes and protocols that makes it easy to attach existing as well as new applications. It uses open standard so that hardware and software components from different vendors can be integrated with no difficulties. IMS architecture uses the session initiation protocol, SIP, used in modern telephony and other te telecommunication networks, thus enabling easy interface with them. 